Good afternoon, Noah. This week's podcast, we are looking at random acts of kindness. In assemblies for year 7s to 11s, we looked at having a generous heart and what actions might be involved to show generosity. Keeping along this idea, I want to talk about random acts of kindness. A random act of kindness is a selfless act performed by a person or people wishing to either assist or cheer up an individual person or a set of people. This can be through charity fundraising, donating or everyday actions that are kind to others. On this note, I'd like to share with you how small acts of kindness can be applied in everyday life. On Saturday morning, I travelled into Banbury. On my drive into school, I was stuck waiting to do a right-hand turn. Cars were coming from both directions, making it impossible to pull out. After several minutes of waiting, a driver coming from the right-hand side stopped to allow me to proceed with my journey. This generous person interrupted his journey for a brief moment to allow me to carry on with mine. Before I got into school, I popped into Boots to buy a few things. While waiting to be served at the checkout, I emptied my loose change into the Macmillan charity pot by the till. Even though my change was only a few 5Ps and coppers, that donation will help towards the person's care during and after cancer plus supporting the families affected by cancer. It was a small donation, but a small act of kindness. Next, I went to Costa to get a cup of tea. I was waiting in the queue. The person in front of me collected their drinks and moved off to their seat. Unknown to this pensioner that she had left, in fact, her gloves on the counter. I quickly called after her to return her gloves. This act of kindness prevented a person from feeling the cold and potentially saving her from getting ill. When I parked up at school, I walked over to the clothing bank and placed a bag of clothes that I recently no longer wanted to wear. I could have sold these items online or just threw them out, but I knew these clothes would be better placed in a clothing bank, where they might end up in a foreign land or in a shop waiting to be purchased, all in aid of charity. Not only this, I also helped the environment by recycling my unwanted clothes. Later on, I went to Waitrose to do my food shopping for my dinner. After collecting my items, I proceeded to the checkout, scanned my items through, paid and was handed my receipt with a green token. I walked over to the charity collection area and popped in my token to the charity that I felt like supporting for that day. This little token is small, but forms part of a much larger collection. My support will help people or animals in my community. Looking back on my day, I feel that nothing significant really happened. But the little acts of kindness, small amounts given to charity, will make someone's life better. Just think, if we all had a Saturday like mine, wouldn't the world be a better place? During term three and four, we are holding a series of college events on the theme of giving a helping hand. In term three, we are having a competition for colleges to suggest fundraising ideas to raise funds for the Trip and Resource Fund. The Trip and Resource Fund allows students who require equipment such as folders, etc. to participate in their education, as well as help towards cover the costs of school trips. The deadline for giving a helping hand fundraising ideas is the 31st of January. If you'd like to run a fundraising event or have a really good idea to raise funds, then please post your fundraising suggestions into the suggestion box at Student Services. The podcasts that follow will have students pitching their winning suggestions. The final fundraising ideas will be collected and a fundraising event will take place during Term 4. I would like to leave you with this final thought. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted.